Welcome to the next video from Loyalty and Honour Publishing, this one covering the brand new book for 2023, which is The Men of SS Schuller Tolts. This book is built around a short story on each of the 14 commanders of the school, and then with each, within each of those, we will feature a number of men who attended each of the courses. Each of the men featured will be detailed through their surviving photographs, documents, and uniform items, as well as other items that help portray what life was like for them as they went through bad totes. The book itself starts in 1934 and shows some imagery from the first and second courses. Progressing on through, again, some very rare surviving uh, insignia from school Schuller Tolt in the early days. It features a number of men. Here we see an image of the very first location, which was the hotel within the town of Bad Tolts itself. We have some pre-war attendees in the very, very early days, initially at the hotel, on through to when the school itself opened, the school that exists today, in 1937. One of the course attendees who had a long career and a very varied career within various third, third rack organizations. And here we see one of the first images of the newly finished school in 1937. Most of the images are from surviving photo albums, some of these incredibly rare early um, printed canteen albums uh, featuring bad tolts. So you're seeing what the attendees seen themselves and what they felt was worth photographing at the time. As with all of the loyalty and honor books, the view is to put you in the eyes of the people who were there. Here we see in 1938 getting ready for the November Munich Memorial. Again, some surviving items. A number of the men featured in the book unfortunately died during the war, killed in action. Here we see Richard Schultz Cosson's brother, who was uh, an adjutant to the Fuhrer. One of his surviving greatcoats. And we go on through to wartime attendees as the course started to um, change in its um, what constituted the lessons in preparation for and lessons learned from the early days of the conflict. A number of the men featured were awarded the German Cross and gold, and there one or two people featured also who awarded the Knight's Cross. Again, different periods, surviving documents signed by various commanders. Some very rare documentation and rare insignia, but more importantly, a wealth of personal and private photographs taken in the school at different times, which help show the evolution of the school. We even have a very rare set of images that show a wedding taking place at the school. That wedding itself was to um, Dorfler Schuband's adjutant, and here we see Dorfler Schuband officiating the wedding. A nice addition to this overall project. Here we see the wedding party with the school in the background. One of the other things that Bad Tolts was known for is its innovative approach to training. One of those innovations was the training of war disabled individuals, those who had been injured badly at the front line, who were no longer fit to hold the front line position. But the innovation was to retrain them so that they could take the place of office-based individuals who were fit 
and allow them to be swapped out with men. So those fit men who were taking office based roles could be swapped out, go to the front line. And here we have one of those war disabled individuals. So it details his injuries. We tell his story through, obviously how he got wounded. Here we see some of the shrapnel that actually wounded him. But amongst the surviving documents, is a very rare disabled training plan as part of the course that he attended. And here, of course, we have the, again, unusual um, disabled sports badge, which, of course, all of these war disabled individuals would have been awarded if they had passed through the course. All in all, a very nice addition to the loyalty and honour range of books. But in the true tradition of loyalty and honour, it's done from the, the viewpoint of the individuals, their imagery, their documents, their stories. I hope you like the look of this and look forward to hearing from you when you place your order. Thank you.